Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome to Echo. This has got to be one of the weirdest um, main menus of a game, because all we're looking at is an eyeball. But I can I can move the eyeball around, as you can see, and you can go to settings, audio, video, unlocks, credits. You can quit as well, which that looks really sinister as well on the eyeball. Either way, new game. Oh. I was actually, like, benchmarking this game earlier, and then I just couldn't stop playing it. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. Only the strong of mind and body will again reunite as whole. From the collected memories... Our songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of Whoa. untold wonders. It looks like just like a slab of metal. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only... I never wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Those words alone could mean death. So when I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. If I wanted to live. And so it was. Right. Oh, okay. I feel like shit. <laughs> of course you do. Your wound has healed. The pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week. The nausea will linger. Probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed. Whoa. Everything you knew is gone. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. That's all gone now. So you decided not to like me. <laughs> but you've had a century to plan what to say, and that's it. How about... You screwed up the best deal we ever had, or you come waltzing in here giving orders. Or, or even, Foster died because of you, you stupid bitch. Hmm. Well, I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. Oh, a lighter. I can bring him back. Oh. In all fairness, the start of this game is very slow. Before you actually get into any of the action. To achieve that little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. Mm. Thanks. I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. Jesus. Yeah, it's it's a very slow uh, process. Not process. The the game's just slow to start, but really good. I really like this game. It's probably one of the one of the few games where I will play it after getting it. Where is he? Oh, Foster. Oh, you mean the cube? Oh. Yes, I had a very good look at that while you were asleep. Okay. Nothing suggests any sentience. No interface to access the thing, nor any reason to do so. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. If we knew how to operate it, we wouldn't have had to come here. This is how I see it. You don't answer to my orders, and yet you took us this far. So clearly, I'm not the only one hoping that I can achieve something. I can work with that. Not hope. Respect. For Foster. God knows why, but he wanted me here. The stupid lighter proves it. I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood, demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. Yeah. Respect, Ben. That'll work, too. Oh, there we go. I'm moving a little bit faster. No, this is one of the, the few 
games where after I've got the game, I'll play it for a bit to kind of test how it plays and stuff. And then after doing that, I instantly went to get a description ready and get a thumbnail ready. Because I was like, I want to do this game because it's great. Rose Leslie is N. N is the character we play as. Nick Bolton is London, which is that disembodied voice we are hearing. And these, these people, I was going to say, these people don't matter. Of course they do. But they don't have voice is... There's only two voice actors in this game. One for N and one for London. Huh. I will admit though, I do like the voices. They're very... Um, I guess fitting would be the correct word. Because they are very fitting. And this game is really, really nice looking. I've never been one for, you know, like, hor not horroring out. I've never been one for obsessing over the graphics, but at the same time, you kind of have to at some point, because it's just like, holy shit, this is what games look like. And it's fantastic. It's so good. Oh, there's the cube. Ooh. Whoa, that was weird. I need a suit. Oh, there we go. Echo! A really good game. It's a game where... the only enemy is you. And that might sound incredibly cheesy or corny, but it's true. As the next... This, this first session we probably won't make much progress, I'll be honest. Because as I say, the start of the game is slow. Really slow. No visual cues, no gravitational pull, nothing. Even with the exact coordinates, I nearly missed it. We're looking for a palace. Why am I not surprised? Give it a rest, will you? Can you see any structures on the planet? You're looking at it. It's all one big structure, planet-wide. No palace, though. I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. The planet is most likely depleted of all resources. An empty shell. Whoa. Oh, I didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself. Whoa. It's pure white. I can't see a damn thing. Oh god. Oh, there we are. I don't know how many chapters there are to the game, but I know there's a fair few. <laughs> there goes the ship. Bye bye. You should get off the surface too. I can't see. A strange place. Oh, there we go. Block out the sunlight. Oh, it's God. Impressive, really. It is impressive. You are not wrong. I'm enabling the suit's assist mode to compensate for your inexperience. There you go. Thank you. Miss Sierra London. Pull. Sort of it is. Did you There's another here. It's definitely doing something. But it's a very... I wouldn't say atmospheric. It's got a very interesting story. Especially as things start to take place. And everything. Oh, there we go. We got everything. Well. Have I done all of them, or...? Look, no? No, oh, there we go. Soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not, it will stop you from leaping. Go. Oh! The suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. 
It's not the suit's performance that worries me. Suit energy. The cell meter. The suit stores energy in cells. The cell meter visualizes your total capacity and current charge. Massive triangles are charged and the hollow triangles are empty. The cell cost, the cell cost of any prompted action will be highlighted yellow. If you do not have enough charge for the action, the empty cells needed to be needed will blink yellow. Auto charging cells, the suit's car cell auto recharges, harnessing ambient energy. This means that if you wait, you will always have one cell at your disposal. Yay! How glad I am. The energy is like something that's needed for a lot of stuff. Wait. This is not where I need to be. This is going down. Woohoo! Oh. So look at the landscapes. They're incredible. It's falling apart. Hmm. It all looks strangely warmed. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite it does like actually should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It must hmm. be ancient. It looks partly melted as well. Alright, crouch. I love how it says press L3, when I'm pretty sure for Xbox controllers it's just referred to as LS. L3 is PlayStation. Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here though. Grants believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. Hmm. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mining operation. Got to appreciate the contrast. I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. This obviously isn't a palace. The old man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong. But he wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. I really wouldn't get my hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. Hmm. And also the reason we end up moving so slow is because that's the way the game's designed so that you don't end up with overlapping dialogue and so you have a chance to just kind of take in the scenery as well as the commentary that is happening between the characters. At least I think, that's what I believe, is why they have it designed in, in such a way. Can I go up here? No. I mean, if they have it designed in that way, that's good. Because... Exactly oh. structures, then? Have you seen others like them since I'm such an expert? I've had my fair share of halls based on wild speculation. It doesn't matter if it comes from desperate need or delusions of grandeur. There's never anything there but bitter disappointment. Hmm. This with Foster? Before Foster. I got the feeling you two have been together for ages. I've been crisscrossing the spur for a thousand years. Foster was with me for a century and a half. Hmm. Yeah, I think they've just got it so that you don't end up interrupting the flow of stuff, because that happens in so many other games, where if there's dialogue happening, you could just run ahead to where the next part of the dialogue takes place, it'll just cut off the first part and then carry on with the second part. It's kind of shitty, but you can't really help it with some kind of games, but with this one they can. Whoa, what the heck? Her hair has turned from gold, or the head has turned from gold to white, which is actually her hair. Whoa. Alright, these are stairs. Ooh, very good. Oh Jesus, get a fucking shift on, before it collapses. How are we going to get out of here? I just realized. If you've only been with Foster for a century and a half, you hardly knew him at all. I mean, we've been traveling together for a century, and we only just met. A hundred year haul is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was 16. I knew him plenty. Hmm. He trusted you. And so that I could do. That you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. You don't mess up a job for your grandfather and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance. 
to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Wow. Okay, then. Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed. And gold makes for a powerful argument. Hmm. Now we start running again. Hooray! I believe we've done it. Yes, we have. Pretty sure this is the path we need to go along. Although there's still a lot left to this part of the of the game. You can just hear stuff collapsing around us. What the hell is this ship made of? Hmm. Fairly sure. There must be a way inside. Ah, there we go. That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort. You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's. Such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the Requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I hmm. believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. Hmm. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you, but he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night, why Foster died, but I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. Cute. <laughs> Cute. Finally, something. Yep, we made it. Here we are. Oh, X. Keep forgetting, A is not the interact button. I'm stuck. I need some force. Does a gun pack any punch? Let's find out, shall we? Kabloosh! Wow! I like it. <laughs> wow! I'm taking the gun offline to preserve energy. Not to protect myself. Whoa! This is ominous and creepy. Just a tunnel where you can barely see. <laughs> Also, we do not give off much light, which is pretty freaky. Also, the fact you can't see jack shit that's behind you. Oh, all right. Open on up. And here it is. Here's the palace. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. What I find strange is the fact it's dead silent. But this was one thing that made me be like, holy crap. Right. It all looks completely untouched. The visuals are incredible, because we'll just look at the detail. It really makes me um, enjoy gaming in this day and age, because everything looks so lifelike, and it's just really cool to witness, to be honest. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. You were right about the palace. What's the plan now? We get Foster back, and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one Gramps had. Would that be the Soul Sucker? I'll know it when I see it. Even if you did find the thing, this place is dead. What mythic technology might be here is now useless. We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. Mmm, I can shout. Hello? Anyone home? I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below the halls. Anyone home? Hello? Wait. Shouting. <laughs> Is that your plan? There we go. I just wanted to get that little bit of dialogue out of him. Shouting. Is that your plan? Yes. Douche. Problem. Whoa. God, I got goosebumps. Also, when you see this. That thing at the end creeped me out. When I first played, I couldn't tell what it was, and I just saw something moving. 
The funny thing is, it's a mirror, so it's our character. And there you go, look. Ta-da! Anyone home? Yeah, but when I saw that, oh my god, I sca it scared me. I was like, oh god, there's something moving straight ahead of me. What is it? Obviously, I felt like a complete and utter dumbass. I recognize these. They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. Maybe it's a door of some sort. We called them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. Hmm. Okay. There's a lot of them. My god. Wait, how long do the doors go for? No, oh, wait, I can just go across here. And then jump down, because that's what you always do. Yeah, like you can go across there, but it leads to nothing. The only thing you can do is jump. Saving. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's a voice. It looks like a tuning fork. Yes, obviously. The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in. Hmm. Hmm. Just kind of looking around. Yeah, I think this is where we go now. Just basically anywhere that's not a dead end is where we go. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to jump down again. If memory serves. Yep. Oh. I bet that's an activation mechanism for the door. Hmm. You're right. Question is, how the hell do we get this through is it? Meaningless. Foster is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube, and then bring the person back to life, surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. You resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Graham spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here. And this feels very real to me. Hmm. Uh, I could probably have gone either way. Hmm. Very fancy. I do like the um the design of this area because it just looks incredibly interesting. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Hmm. There's that. Just out of curiosity, what's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? <clears throat> not quite. The rings spin up and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, you realize that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. Ah. Oh. Then the leap. No, it's way too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. Hmm. <laughs> now we can make our way back to the beginning. Oh, back to the activation pedestal, I should say. Well, that's ultimately where we're going to end up. <laughs> oh, I really do like the design of everything. 
don't know if you noticed that there were no other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. Jesus, London, why are you going to be so against me? What did I ever do to you? Cutscene. Let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Grams did to hundreds of resourcefuls for this? Hmm. So the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern. And the silver unfolds pierces the skin and slithers inside. In about half an hour it consumes everything. All that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube. He called it the translation. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through 